Put your belt on. Seatbelt doesn't go in my clothing today. Otherwise, I get loads of comments like, Yeah, I got the seatbelt on. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm in my car and I am joined with a special guest. Who would have thought that has would ever be in my car? Literally. Because I didn't. I travelled a long way. Yeah. Oh. So obviously it has in my car, which means she's in my hometown. So I thought what better way to film a video than to do a classic drive with me. Um gotta put a little disclaimer out there, my tripod for my car is broke so my camera is duct taped to the dashboard currently you're gonna do what you're gonna do what, what you got key uh so if the camera starts moving around here there and everywhere i do apologize i'm doing a b-tech tripod right now i need to run some errands i need to get my stuff from the post office which is going to close in um, 15 minutes so i literally need to dash and then we're gonna head through to scarborough and meet some friends so we're gonna be chatting and all that fun stuff. So let's just go, shall we? Guzzy, guzzy. This is when my camera just falls off. Oh, I hope oh she's staying. She's stable, she's Darren. Staying. Blue too. Oh. Right, Jasmine, the first time I'm in your car, I don't want to crash. What music we fancy? I don't know. Somehow I'm not going to get copyright. <gasps> so do you want my covers on? Yeah. Post office lads. Um thought your camera was gonna go there. Will we make it? I think we will. It doesn't take long. Your post office is a far park. Um yeah it does but you're not supposed to park in it but I always do because I'm a rebel. If they come out to me, Jasmine, well I'm sat in cam crap. Right, I'll be back. This is where anything can happen. I could get in the driver's seat. I can't actually drive, so that would be illegal. Let's put on some music anyways. You know she turned it off. We gonna push them on anyways, because Article 13 is in place, kids, and I want Jasmine's channel to be gone. I feel like this is something from a movie. Look at Jasmine's face. Obvious. This is definitely someone else you spoke to, because I won when I was with you, didn't have a bag. I had my little bum bag. I didn't take a hairbrush with me, as you know, because you Right, let's get out of this post office. Ooh, the sun is out today, lads. Sure. Um, oh, this is actually really ironic. High School Musical or The Greatest Showman songs, which do you prefer? High School Musical. <sighs> because I'm not a big fan of The Greatest Showman. I love The Greatest Showman, but there's more High School Musical songs. Yeah, um, uh, there's only a few songs that I like from The Greatest Showman. Mm. Oh no, I quite, I quite like all of them. Category. Question, how did you and Harriet meet? It was weird seeing Harriet. Um, Harriet. <laughs> also, I love you. We love you too. Um, we met at six. six, which was 2016. Mm. I believe it was like November or something. Oh, we've known each other for three years. I know. It doesn't feel, well, it does feel like it would, doesn't it? So yeah. Like, I feel like it's gone really quick. That has gone really quick. I'd say we've got so much closer the past year. Yeah. This past, like, end of 2000, like, from like 60, 2000. Yeah. 18 yeah till now we've got a lot closer i would agree with you on that one huh? how long am i here four or five days yeah but jazz has already been with me like a yeah week. so um, we basically been together like two weeks in total wow so fun and fresh and then i get to see you the week after as well literally I can't believe the thing you hate most about each other that you can sing. <laughs> Me? Yeah. I can't sing. Okay, the thing I hate the most then is that you can sing but you think you can't sing. That's probably the thing I hate the most. Um, the thing I hate the most is when Harriet's drunk, she... I made yours a good thing. <laughs> no, this does only happen on one occasion. She thinks that she's right in every situation. Yeah, that is and true. she's not. As she later found out in the morning, when everything I said was right. That is very true. I am always right. Do you know this? So listen close, hear my thoughts in every note. Oh oh. Do you ever argue and what about? We've only argued once. And that was the and other that night. was the other night when but I was drunk. really drunk. So like, 
And I, really, I walked away from the situation yeah. so we couldn't argue. I didn't really, I wouldn't really call it an argument though because no. it was sober and we weren't like, it wasn't like And it wasn't like an each. argument, it was just like... Yeah, it wasn't down each other's friends. Yeah, we were, ju you, like, we were just both disagreeing. It was just me being stubborn because I was drunk. Yeah. So I was literally So I just removed myself from the situation before it got worse. Who right. influenced you to start a YouTube channel? Do you know who mine was? Yeah. And I've said this so many times, Anna. Really? Anna was my inspiration. Oh, Honestly, that's really sweet. like I, before I was obviously friends with Anna, I was mm. such a big fan. I, there's literally messages between me and Anna um, on my Instagram from when I like first messaged her, be like, I really love you, like I've got a channel of my own, I'd love it if you could watch it. Literally, Anna was my inspiration. And oh, now me and Anna are friends. That's real sweet. Yeah. I didn't really have, so I started singing on YouTube first and my inspiration was like, I didn't really have anyone I looked up to. Just my nan wanted to hear me sing and I couldn't yeah. sing in front of people so I uploaded it on there. But then my inspiration to start talking on YouTube, which is like the content jazz films, yeah. would be Byron because Byron was like... Yeah, you yeah and you lived with him as well. Yeah. yeah. Byron basically said to me, you need to get your personality <laughs> out there. And I was like, okay. Mm. So I did. Best decision I ever made. Yeah, see, it's like as well. I was looking at Anna being like, she's doing it and she's like my age, so why can't I? Yeah. Kind of thing. Because the main thing that I was scared of is like people finding out at school, but then I just bit the bullet and I just did it, and now look where I am. So yeah, yeah I kind of did reason. it. I kind of did it for three years before I started talking on it. Yeah. So I kind of already had the bullying through school, but mm. no one could really say anything about. Oh my god, like you do make it to tutorials and stuff. Because they yeah. didn't. I just sang on there, and if they were nasty to me about my singing, I was like, wow, you really are the lowest of the low. Yeah, like, but it's like I did. So I actually did YouTube before like my beauty, fashion, lifestyle YouTube, yeah. and that was singing. But that was when I was like, when YouTube was like proper first fresh, so like yeah, yeah, so nobody would yeah, like so. find your channel ever. I and mean, it was when I went to school, like secondary school in like year seven, I was like, oh my God, all these teachers use YouTube for like the music and stuff and like oh. presentations. So I was like, I need to get my covers off ASAP. Oh, and I deleted yeah. them. Whereas I wish I privated them, like but I didn't know anything about privating. It was just they're either on you or just not. It straight to yeah, me. I used to film them. Like when I first started, I used to click the film now thing. Yeah, same. Yeah, and upload it straight yeah. away. And oh my god, I dread to do that. Yeah, now. so it annoys me because I kind of wish I could go back watch them because I, I used to film so many weird videos on that I used to film like skits with like so, like Sophie and my friends and my cousin I did like the Harlem Shake we, and everything we, yeah, yeah literally yeah. I did a, like a series of my thing called Rubbish Restaurant oh, so cringe oh filmed it with way. a filmed it with a webcam so funny but so cringe we used to do like reacting to like Mika's music videos where we'd like dress up and stuff and I deleted them all because oh, I got scared that people were going to see them. You were an OG. Yeah, I was literally an OG YouTuber. And that was the thing as well that then, obviously when I wanted to do my fashion and beauty, I was like, it's what I've always wanted to do. Yeah. So, I just bit the bullet into I've it. got single or taken. Single as I'll ever be. Same. Single I'm Pringle and ready to mingle. Uh, right, here's the ready need because I'm going six mile an hour currently, which is the speed limit, and that is just excessive. Look! Look at how they are! Jesus. Like, what is the need for that? I've just dipped in front of a van. Chips. Seagull! I haven't seen a seagull in about a year. My next door neighbour feeds the seagulls. Oh. So annoying. Because they they all over my car. There's so many arcades. Oh my god, can we get fish and chips? Yeah. <gasps> oh my god, I can have prawns and vinegar. Oh god, I'm gonna cry. 
Oh my god. I wanna cry. I wanna cry. I used to How's come this living there? I used living to there. come to seaside towns all when I was younger. I used to go to Cornwall and Devon, literally from the ages of like two till yeah. twelve. And I always used to get prawns, cockles, crab sticks. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh my god, I'm literally getting turned on just driving through this town. So that was it for today's video and I really hope you did enjoy it. If you did, as always meant to get a huge thumbs up down below. Let me know if you want to see more driving me videos and who else I should bring onto the channel because obviously I've had Haz and I've also had Caitlin now and obviously Sophie because she lives with me. Um, I'm just about to go on and on about so two seconds. But yeah, like I said, that is everything for today's video and I will see you very, very soon with another one. Bye! Bye!